Welcome back guys, let's continue our adventure. So, I think we're going to head back to our ship and travel to Mars, if I'm not wrong. Mars, City Sidonia. Let's see. Ask about Mars in Sidonia. I think it was in Mars in the solar system. We'll see about it. Let's go back to the spaceport. We'll also... Uh, Gonna see a shop. I want to sell something. I want to manage my inventory a little bit before going out of the planet. I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the NAT. Okay. Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Sarah is very talkative in this episode. <laughs> we don't even need to interact with their talk. Okay, I need to go to the Jameson merchandise. I think should have credits uh, to buy things from us. I am not a star. Okay. If you Talk don't see me? what you want, feel... Oh, please, take a... All right. Sell. Let's see. Mm. Let's sell the regular Grendel. Uh, and sell one of the Coachmans. I'll keep one of each weapons for now. When we get upgraded versions, we'll sell the old one. Ammunition doesn't weigh any mass, so let's keep all of it. These are good, good. Uh, I'll sell the fragmentation mines, but I'll keep the frag grenades. We'll throw them at some group of enemies or something. Aid. I was thinking about selling all aid except uh, med packs and the aid items like. Um, which ones are these? Like. The ones that treat uh, conditions like burns and frostbite or some, something like that. So let's sell uh, these boost amp, sandwiches, apples, uh, food, damage resistance, uh, water health. Let's keep the heal paste. Hurt plus. Let's keep the hurt plus. I think this one will be used at some boss or something. 200 damage resistance and health. Um, sell eggs. Keep the med packs. Sell this. This. A research project requires less resources. I'll keep this one. Sell, sell. Sell, sell, sell. Okay. My miscellaneous we have. Or did you fix? I'll keep them and resources I'm going to store in my ship. Uh, wait. Let's see. Does oh, she have any digipix left? Uh, no, miscellaneous. Yep, she has three. Let's buy them. Uh, I have 21,000 credits. Okay. We're st really? stocking so some Please cash for the, the start of the game. Trend. Account for it better understand it. By Vectera, what, by Vectera, by Vectera! I can't believe it! <laughs> is it you? <laughs> the hell is, is this? it really, really you? Captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellations shining, star of stars. Wait, I find I think I know what this is. Let me guess. I chose the um, mm, Hero worship uh, trait. So this guy, I remember his voice from Oblivion, from Elder Scrolls games. <laughs> there was a character like this one with the same voice actor, Bane of the Fleet. Oh, don't be so modest. It was all over SSNN. Lone Miner tames the Crimson Fleet, saves a member of Constellation, and steals the hearts of millions, no, trillions!
millions. And now you're standing here next to me. Oh, it really is you, right? <laughs> what a crazy dude. Get away from me, weirdo. I just joined Constellation. I'm hardly a shining star. Oh, you are definitely the brightest, biggest star in any constellation. There's no maybes about it. I have an eye for these things. Not that you're hard to see with that halo on your head. Although at first, I wasn't sure if it was just the glare. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. But I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was meant to be. All right. You changed your routine? Why? Oh, yes. Normally, I start my day by drinking four cups of coffee and stuffing my face with chunks. But after being inspired by your story, I thought to myself, what would the great and powerful hero of Vectera do? And so instead, I went for a jog. I ran and I ran and I ran, picturing you in the distance, like a North Star. Imagine my surprise to find you were actually real <laughs> by the light of Polaris. It must be fate. Hmm. It's definitely not. <laughs> Are you saying I looked you up, tracked you down, and followed you all the way here? Pretty sure. <laughs> Who'd be crazy enough to do that? I'd have to know what you looked like first. And now I do. Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do. Lead the way. <laughs> I can assign him to a crew. Wait, if you're going to be my sidekick, won't you need a costume? Good point. I'll start working on it right away, as soon as I learn how to sew. Until then, maybe I can be a sidekick in training do you have an academy where fans can practice uh, groveling at your feet if not I can start one mm, okay welcome aboard you won't be disappointed I have one empty slot in my crew ship so whatever let him join he has scavenging perk Concealment and weightlifting. Nothing good for our cruise ship, but whatever. Got more persons on board. More action. <laughs> okay. Wait. Can I talk with you a I little still bit more? Get nervous around you. We're literally best friends after all. Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? Of course. I am sworn to tell you the truth and nothing but. Can you tell me anything about yourself? Oh, I'm not that interesting. I like coffee, I like tea, and I like worshipping the ground you walk on. Well, you technically don't walk. Uh, angels tend to glide. What the hell is he talking about? How do you know so much about me? Well, for one, your triumph on Vectera was all over the news. But I believe that's only the beginning. The first chapter in a 437 book anthology documenting your greatness. It's only a matter of time before they start writing it. I'll be counting the seconds until they do. 1001, 1002. You're not romantically interested in me, are you? Oh god, I hope no he's not. Oh, don't worry. My love for you is completely platonic. Unbreakable? Yes. Unyielding. Absolutely. Romantic? Oh, God, no. I would never sully something so pure with something so ordinary. Good to know. Uh, we need to talk about your fandom. Oh, no. That sounds ominous. Okay. Uh, can you take your fandom up a notch? I feel like you've been slacking lately. 
attack. It's time for you to go permanently. You can kill him on the spot. Okay. You should have other interested interested signs. Me, it's healthier. Healthier. Kindly get lost. I think your fandom is excessive. I think your fandom is excessively excessive. charming, underappreciated, wonderful. <laughs> Remove crew status permanently. Uh, persuade. No, I want you to stop being a fan. Period. Hmm. Do I want to? No. Let's keep him. Let's let him oh, carry good. on. For a second, I thought you were about to say something mean. <laughs> Just Which for... would completely knock over the giant pedestal I've placed you on. Just for fun, let's let's have him in our crew for a bit. Yes, my After, until Whatever we get more crew members to, to change him from one of the seats. Uh, I'm only, okay, I'm, not... that I'm good. Was a good talk. It'll be hard to top it, but you always find my name. Oh, okay. I think I, I, I have enough conversations with everyone in this planet. We need to have some action now. Let's get out of the new Atlantis and let's go to the Sidonia city. Let's hope our ship is good enough to travel that far. Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact them if you're interested. We'd all appreciate Security it. Security scanners, chemical snippers. What? United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. So I noticed NPCs talking with themselves uh, give us activities that we can probably get. A side quest, I think, like this one. Talk to Sergeant Yumi. And that guy was talking about that that sergeant needs help or something. We'll be back here for more quests, I think. Hello, Captain. Okay. Do you have any Captain new David, conversations? Do you require my assistance? You may. I will do my best to provide. Oh. <laughs> Everyone has new uh, conversations. Okay. I'd like to know more about what makes you tick. You may ask me anything. I am programmatically incapable of keeping secrets. How much do you know about humans? Constellation has seen to it that I possess a near encyclopedic knowledge of human history, art, culture, and science. May I answer a question for you? Sure. What kind of mu human music do you like? This is a difficult question to parse. I do not experience enjoyment. However, I find that the music of ancient Japan has a pleasantly mathematical sound. The same is true of the works of European composers from the Baroque period. I have dedicated significant time to processing these compositions and understanding their structure. Mm, do you know any human jokes? I am looking at one. I hope that was a suitable response. Constellation did not equip me with a sense of humor. I have done my best to mimic ferrets. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was the greatest... Yeah, no. What was the greatest uh, invention in human history? Logically, I believe the correct answer to be the airplane, followed shortly by the computer. Humans could not have become a spacefaring species without them. Illogically speaking, I am inclined to believe that books were your greatest invention. I have spent a good deal of time processing works of science fiction. They make good case studies in how your species could have made a mess of its entry into the stars in different ways than you did in reality. Do you speak every human language? I have been programmed to comprehend all modern and ancient human languages. The only exception is body language. My body is crafted from reinforced metal and therefore incompatible with such forms of expression. I have other questions. You are an exceptionally curious human. How did you become part of Constellation? 
constellation recovered me from an abandoned lunar robotics factory on Earth's moon, where I was manufactured. I am told I was in quite a state of disrepair. Barrett elected to refurbish me after the discovery. Since then, I have been reprogrammed to be useful to Constellation. How did you get your name? Constellation named me after the Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama, who resided on Earth in the 15th century AD. He explored his home planet by way of its seas. Barrett tells me he was quite an accomplished explorer. I am inclined to believe it, as that is a compliment Barrett normally reserves for himself. Do you remember anything from before you were reprogrammed? Some data from my time on Earth's moon remains deep in my motherboard, but I do not frequently access it. Very little of what is in those files would prove useful to modern spacefarers. You were built you were built on Earth's moon? That is correct. I am a first generation Model A robot. As such, I was manufactured on Earth's moon. Modern lunar robotics products are manufactured elsewhere. It's a good thing they were able to fix you. Constellation is an exceptionally driven and intelligent group of humans. I would expect nothing less of them. My programming dictates that I must answer any question. Do you enjoy working with the constellation? That is a difficult question to parse. I do not experience human emotions such as enjoyment. However, I have been kept busy since constellation acquired me. That satisfies my directive to be as helpful as possible for the duration of my existence. Do you miss the lodge while we're traveling? In a geographical sense, the lodge cannot be missed. It is easily accessible from the New Atlantis spaceport. But I presume that you are using miss in this context to mean long for. In which case, my answer is no. I long for nothing. Barrett, however, regularly complains about missing the lodge's amenities during our travels. This has led me to the conclusion that it is a place worth missing. Sentimentally isn't my style either. Noted. I would be interested to know your definition of my style. I'd like to ask you something Very else. Very well. Please proceed with your query. Can you tell me more about Lunar Robotics? Lunar Robotics is a manufacturing company. They are most notable for creating Model A robots. Their headquarters was once located on Earth's moon. It was evacuated during the cataclysm that rendered Earth uninhabitable. Today, Lunar Robotics products are still found throughout the settled systems, myself included. What's your read on Barrett? It is impossible to read Barrett. He is neither a book nor a block of code. If you are asking for a summary of my observations on his behavior, I will provide one. Oh my god, how much text does this guy have? Uh, did Barrett make you? No. I was manufactured by a machine. However, Barrett has modified my programming substantially. I have advanced linguistic capability and navigational skills. I warned him that I would require an extra millisecond to process information with his modifications. But he did not seem to mind, apparently. My capacity for conversation makes me a more entertaining travel companion. He knows uh, he almost got killed me, right? I have only seen Barrett kill his enemies. 
if you do not number among them. I surmise it was accidental. What you are suffering from is likely a bad first impression. I suggest consulting Barrett on the issue at once. Barrett tells me a bad first impression is the hardest thing to break. I believe that is because he has never tried to break a diamond. Do you have any idea what this story is? Barrett has not shared many personal details with me. He finds me a poor conversation partner, despite repeated attempts on his part. I do not understand the concept of gossip. Have you ever, have you two been uh, traveling together for long? My internal clock tells me that it has been years since Barrett and I began traveling together. I have traveled much of the settled systems in his company. He does seem like a quite the character. Based on my understanding of Barrett, I believe he would be flattered by that assessment. How does traveling with the with me compared to traveling with Barrett? I find you to be a more measured and logical captain than Barrett. It would be quite difficult for another human to be more reckless than him. My likelihood of expiration due to corporeal destruction has been significantly reduced since coming aboard your ship. You should consider this a success. Okay. Please do not hesitate to approach me with further questions. Finally, how long was that conversation? <laughs> we we were talking like with the computer for sure. <laughs> okay, I wanted to put my resources into the ship for going. Okay, cargo hold. Back. Uh, inventory. Uh, resources and let's put everything into the cargo. Let's put these notes too. Miscellaneous, let's keep. Aid, let's put this inside. And these two, let's keep these ones. Mm. I think I'm good. Okay, let's get. To the ship. Finally, we're going somewhere. Might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. <laughs> this guy is here. Okay. Let's do a hard save. Sleep for an, an hour. Had a good sleep? Yep. Whole half, whole hour of sleep. <laughs> Speed napping. And lift off. We'll be back here. I'm certain of it. Apogee kick complete. Orbit steady. Okay. Let's put a um, couple of points into our grab, grab drive. Okay. Where is our waypoint at? Alright. Target. Soul system. Let's go for the mission. Engage the grab drive and jump. Have any scan anything Welcome to worry to about a, you are clear to land about these scans? Don't have anything stolen in my inventory. Okay, let's scan the planet Mars. Okay, there are some interest points around the planet. Okay, let's go to the Cydonia landing port. Let's 
That's it. Alright. Another hard save. Don't want to lose any progress. Okay. Welcome to Cydonia. Location. Oh, what a lovely view of the Martian sky. Frankly, I'm a bit surprised to find such a delightful spot in this rather drab city. Hmm. Consoles. This cargo link is not currently active. Okay. Cargo link. There's some big ships around here. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. So what's this going to run? There are no other surprises. Oh, so it seems like mid five figures. The city is underground five. or something. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever oh, way I was of right. the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. Let's get in. Put off our weapons, don't want to be uh, aggressive towards anyone yet. <laughs> Cydonia, uh, humanity's stepping stone to the stars. The Lux Ooh. condos aren't anything special, but plenty what of people call them home. Yeah, do you have any idea how far we've traveled? How we much have some we spent to the, the Russian accent. Wait, I need to go to the, the left side, right side, I mean. Self-service bounty clearance, mission board, what's this? Available missions, uh, okay, bounty, trackers, alliance, contract. Hmm, I don't want any, or do I do, or do I want? Mission name. Destroy the Crimson Fleet Phantom at... Or maybe let's take it. We might uh, complete these missions during our exploration. If we can even take these. Registered. Registered. Transport settlers. <laughs> Taking everything. Let's hope it doesn't break our progress with order missions. Okay, let's continue our main main story for now. Hey, careful around the equipment. Don't want to lose an arm or something. Okay. What's this? Empty chunks packaging. What's up with these books? Hey, good to see you. Phil, Howdy. Phil Hill. <laughs> okay. Keep it simple or keep to yourself. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Cold beers and good atmosphere. Not much more you could ask for. What's good to drink around here? Everything. I make it a point not to sell crap. We got beer, wine, and spirits. We don't do too many fancy mixed drinks, at least not the kind you get in Neon or New Atlantis. It's my belief that the only booze worth drinking doesn't need to be mixed with something else to taste good. And local rumors? Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. Come on, I'm not going to spill anything to anyone. Or I guess I can respect that. I guess. You don't guess. You know that. And you better know it if you want to keep drinking in my bar. What an angry dude we, get, we have here. I'm looking for a vanguard named Moir. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the Blackest Sea. What? He's dead? Wait, the Blackest Sea? You got another word for it? He means outer space. Ma'am. Okay. You could drag him down if you know his petrol. Patrol route. Uh, I'm not about to leave a brave soul behind. Help us find him. You in the service? I know the feeling, but uh, you just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian, especially one that's missing. But. <clears throat> 
He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I'll let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but if I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? What? You want me to pay your money? Uh, pay 200, 2500 credits, fine, I'll settle his tab. Persuade, he could need help, you shouldn't put a price on that. Sarah Morgan, skip to the part where you admit you're lying. Do you want to persuade? Wait, I need a way to make cash then. Got any work? Let's do this option first. I got a board here in the bar where people post all kinds of spacefaring jobs. Oh, way to make we quick took money. all those jobs already. Uh, pop, pop, pop. Sarah Morgan or persuade? I think persuade gives more experience. Uh, let's let Sarah talk. No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You call me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fan. Hmm. So he lowered from 2,500 to 1,000. And now let's persuade. You could need help. You shouldn't put a price on that. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Okay, we need to remember how this works. Persuasion, need to get four points. We have three turns and we have a couple options. I want to imagine him out there uh, alone and here you are holding out for cash. What's the harm if you tell me? Um, what matters to you more, the money or Moara's life? There must be some way we can both win here. Let's try the hard option. Don't oh, try to didn't guilt trip me, okay? Okay. <laughs> I, no way I can complete this. Isn't he your friend? Don't you want us to go look for him? I'm just trying nope. to keep my business afloat. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to fail. Let's try the... Every minute that passes, he could be in danger. That's how the blackest <laughs> sea works sometimes. Okay. That's enough. Either pay up or get out. I'm done talking about this. Well, I don't have any points in my persuasion, I think. So let's pay up. Agreed on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Next skill point I'm going to put on Persuasion for sure. <laughs> what does it give? 10% increased chance of success. Persuasion. 10%, 30%, 50%. Okay. We'll do that. What now? Our mission is to optional check out the mission board. I already did. I got all the options from there. Okay, go to Venus. Let's get back to our ship then. What the hell? But a meteorite landed on the surface or something. Article detonation. What the hell are they exploding over there? Maybe they are doing some kind of particle experiments, creating molecules and stuff. <laughs> No idea what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get back to our frontier. So, we traveled all over old 
to travel to Mars just to get rejected to we find our Moara guy somewhere else. Good thing that we have. Isn't the same as the real thing. Who are you? I hope this trip is uneventful for both our sakes. Oh, it's the settler. <laughs> Where are we going? What are we doing? Wait. I have a couple settle settlers. Is it timed? Is is my mission timed? Oh my god, transport settlers. Uh maybe let's do this then. I got these dudes <laughs> on my ship. Let's do it if I can. This is nice. Okay, let's do a detour of some sort. To some random planet, I think. Okay. Let's go. Let's hope it's not a too big of a detour to put these settlers into the planets that they want to be at. Where is it? Okay. Nemeria. Oh boy. Is it far away? I need to travel to Andromas and then. Hmm. An explored route. Fuel consumption. I don't know if I want to do this. Hmm. No. no. No, no, We'll do it later. Let's... Let's do... Wait. Maybe these are closer. Hope down. Let's look where this mission is at. Um... Okay. Voila. Okay. But fuel can... It uses fuel. I don't want to use fuel, I don't know how to get it back. No. Can I uh, get rid of these missions? <laughs> reject. Okay. Reject this one. And reject this one. Don't want anything timed. No, thank you. Okay. Uh, continue to Venus then. I need to learn the game before going to any of the exploration. Okay, Venus. Uh oh, I see a couple Hello, of enemies over what do there. We have here? See that cluster? I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. Uh, do you see Vanguard Mara ship? Why are the Varun Zealots out here near Venus? Do you see Vanguard Mara's ship anywhere? No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a Vanguard had flown by recently. Hmm. I do doubt they know where our go Vanguard is. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our Vanguard was heading to next. Okay, <laughs> I'm opening fire. Those zealots are threat to the whole system. Damn, I didn't upgrade my ship by anything. So we need to get to the beacon without being attacked. Hmm, do I want to do a suicide mission? Maybe. Exactly. Maybe Minimal not. Ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Uh, minimize ship uh, system power to avoid detection. Systems like weapons and shields are easier to detect. For maximum stealth power, down all systems except one or two bars in your engines and stay as far away from enemy ships as you can. 
get within 500 meters of the satellite beacon so that you can activate it okay so this is a other uh, type of um, ship combat not combat ship uh what you call it ship gameplay that we need to do stealth mission okay so put a couple points into the engines and do a quick save oh great serpent bless this communion that we may walk in janan verun's footsteps that he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence that he learned the truth of the shrouding the coming eternal embrace that you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow. Stop, 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 stop. Wait. To all you see affiliated ships, I'm heading to the Nova Galactic Storyard orbiting from Smoot. Yeah, yeah, I know. The whole place is decommissioned. But I need parts for emergency repairs. Hopefully it hasn't been picked clean yet. Well, oh, that's not good. Earth and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago. And the old star yards are crawling with spacers and other scavengers. Okay. Travel. Because after traveling, we need to put back uh, all our systems into online mode. Yep. Let's do it. Oh, there it is. Nova Galactic Star Yard. Can't. Still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. Mm, what happened to Earth anyway? Why did we leave? Oh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started, managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. Hmm. Forget about finding the artifact. I went to walk on the moon. Hmm. Most star stations and ships can be docked with allowing you to board them. You will need to select the ship in your HUD and then fly close enough to it uh, so that the dock prompt appears. Oh, so about this. I kind of want to land on the moon. Let's scan it. Where do we want to land? It only has iron I think we need iron for stuff where is the battle dark side of the moon or the bright one let's go on the bright side let's land here maybe it's our <laughs> maybe it's our opportunity to oh the game reached out for a second there Maybe it's opportunity for uh, our base building uh, to try out the base building. Let's sleep. Get up and get going. Okay, save. We've got the stars to explore. These guys haven't left yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. It's so cool. Haven't left our ship yet. Can I build something? Can I build something in here? It seems like I can. It's can. Okay. Lots of iron over here. So, outpost. Okay. Put it. 
Placing an outpost beacon allows you to build objects and structures. Navigate to build menu categories using Q and E. Switch to modify mode using tab. Outpost uh, objects are built from items and resources. When building an object, uh, the build costs are automatically removed from your cargo hold or your inventory. Okay. Hmm. So, what now? Right. Uh, exit the mode. What does it say? Luna Outpost. Rename. Um, sentient. <laughs> domain. Home. Or oh, let's keep sentient domain. Our new outpost. Okay. Hmm, build mode. Extractor, iron. It cost us two tungsten, five iron, and four aluminium. It needs five power. Let's build one. The extractor iron requires power. In order to function, build a power source from the power category. Provide this object with power. Okay. Uh, power, power, solar power. Okay, good thing that we landed on the sunny side. We can use the solar array. Mm. Provide power. Let's plant it here. It provides, uh, produces six power. Okay, so this was enough, I think. The extractor should work now. Call to open menu. Oh, it already produced iron. Nice. Take it. What else can we build? Let's do a quick save. Let's see. Let's go to the uh, creation menu. So, power, solar array, fuel generator, power switch, industrial light, light post, industrial wall, uh, storage, transfer container, I could build this, it's a, build this to allow transfer of cargo while on board of your ship, okay, I don't know if I want to build this. Structures, outpost, air, airlock, overall lab, hydraulic hab, science hab, military hab, hab rounds, small hex hab, lots of random buildings, okay. Crafting, industrial workbench, cooking station, pharmaceutical weapons, spacesuit, research, defenses, ballistic turret. Oh, so we can even defend them. It, it feels similar <laughs> somehow to Fallout 4's uh, base building, but in space now. Furniture, some kind of chairs, refrigerators, okay. Decorations, storage box. Okay, rug, fillet card, hand card, storage, diagnostic machine, desktop, coffee maker. Lots of random things. Manic displays mannequin. Oh, we can display even armor. Helmet display weapon. Weapon. Okay. Scan booster. Cargo link. Scan booster. What does it do? Holding this uh, to double the range of your hand scanner. So it doubles the range in this planet, or where? On the moon, I think. Uh, cargo link, crew station, a landmark. I heard that the self-service bounty clearance is pretty good, but we need zero wire for it. Hmm. Let's build one scan booster and some time some time later we'll get back with the zero wire to build this self-bound clearance. 
I'm going to try this. When you are within range of a powered scan booster, the range of your scanner is greatly increased. So, in Moon, we'll get quite handy with the built materials. Better scanning ability. I think it needs more power too. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. You're a tough one to track down. Okay. Wanted all over the settled systems for the bounty to match. Oh, it's our bounty uh, wanted trait. What do you mean? I'm wanted? What? You don't know your own history? You must have done something to put all those zeros on your bounty. But it doesn't matter. I don't care what you did, only what you're worth. Uh, we can settle this peacefully. No one has to get hurt. How about you just walk on by, stranger, and forget you saw me? Wanted. I don't know if you, who you think I am, but you're about to find out. Let's kill him. Is that right? You talk a good game, I'll give you that much. Most bounties we run into tend to pick first and not Is second. he alone, or there are so, more dudes? We're off to a good start. Anyway, since you seem confused by our presence, I'll break it down for you. Seems someone's gone and put an ash to size bounty on your head. Good question. I'd say 2,000 credits would be enough to make us forget we ever saw you. Or, we could just collect it the old fashioned way. Hmm. Who put bounty on my head? Does it matter? Why don't we just say your mother did it? I'll send her your remains with a card. No way. You can fit way more than 2,000 credits in Ashta. Moron. Well, then how about we kill you and find out? <laughs> oh. Easy. Is he alone? What a joke. <laughs> Wanted. Let's see. And Grendel. Ecliptic spacesuit. Let's see. Is it better? button okay less physical way more energy more em huh. i think it's better let's equip it let's put our current one into the um, no on our friend here talk with me we still need to find any Great gear. something for me uh, inventory face suit this one um, back back raid again to see what I'm... okay and equip this one nice goodbye all right i think this is a good uh, place to pause the video i'll see you in the next part bye